For a while now, I cringe when I hear yet another developer telling me I use Arch, by the way, or I use NeoVet. It's a meme at this point. And I'm one of those people now. But seriously, this video will not be a tutorial or a walkthrough of my new win setup. You can watch that, I'll make a video about that later. I want to talk about productivity and joy in programming and our profession in general. I've started programming when I was a kid, in the 2000s on Windows XP and used probably Notepad++ for my first code. Since then I've used so many IDs and code editors, pretty much whatever was the thing of the day. I just remembered I used Dreamweaver. But besides that, I've used Visual Studio, NetBeans, IntelliJ, Eclipse, uh, WebStorm, and of course the lighter weight code editors, not just heavy IDs, but someone text, brackets, later on Atom, and Visual Studio Code, of course. All of these are graphical user interface applications running in the operating system, depending on keyboard navigation, having some sort of a sidebar layout and integrated tools to bring everything you need for development in one place. Vim is a different deck. And I've had experience with Vim for years, for Linux and Mista. Basically editing config files with V or Vim, it's very portable, easy to install if it's not pre-installing on your distro. So when I have a VM, when I use uh, just the terminal to edit config files on Linux, that's really the best tool. And it's very easy to access that. So I used it for years, but in a very simple manner. Just going in insert mode, change text, save, quick, that's it, pretty much. And I didn't really go in depth. I always viewed it as this convenient tool for that specific use case, a remnant of the past that's easy to access and available always, and reliable. I would never consider it a serious code editor at that point. Until like two years ago when it was all the hype to try out NeoVim and set it up uh, to be extremely productive with Vim motions, add your plugins, make your setup really cool and rise it up. And I tried out NeoVim then for a couple of months. But keep in mind, I was going in with a very wrong mindset then. I saw this old terminal-based code editor that in my mind was performant, but terminal-based. And so that you could make it work like a modern code editor so that you can be as productive, I thought, as with an ID or code editor like this code. So I started with Bendy Chat or whatever, all in one built, easy setup of new them with a lot of organs. It pretty much makes it a clone of VS Code in terminal environment. Of course, with emotions, but that's really... That wasn't really a good way to look at it. And if that's your perspective, you're just going to torture yourself with yoga. It's not meant to replicate that kind of graphical code editor with a sidebar and integrated terminal and some tools integrated into a single view and multiple panes so that you can do all the work uh, and quickly navigate with a mouse, essentially. So back in the day, I didn't get it. I was... It was just inconvenient compared to my this code experience or any other editor. And I just gave up on it and thought it's really a gimmick. A retro cool looking editor, but really a gimmick. I, I thought you could perfect the it maybe because of the motions, but you need to spend a lot of time learning them. And I wasn't really invested in that kind of thing. I didn't really spend any time of uh, just improving my knowledge or trying out if I can use the motions efficiently and if I can make this a productive editor. I decided to try Vim again a couple of months ago for an entirely different reason this time. I wasn't looking to have cool tool. I wasn't looking for a, an improvement in productivity directly. I embarked on a quest to enjoy programming as much as possible. I analyzed the moments when I felt the most joy from my tools. And that was really not when I used the most advanced tools. In fact, quite the opposite. I've used Visual Studio for C++ development. It's a great ID for C++. It has a lot of very useful tools. Visual Studio is set up to be integrated with all the tools you need to build the best C++ applications possible. You have everything you need 
to run the bug profile of your code in different panels, many different tools. Here's the problem. Programming is a lot of thinking, hard, deep thinking about a problem. You also need a lot of creativity sometimes to think just outside of predefined boundaries. And thinking and creativity requires space in every sense of the word. Visual Studio is a great integrated environment. You have everything you need to build C++ apps. And there's a lot of clutter and a lot of things. But you sort of feel like you're an assembly plant worker. You're given this machine that has everything you need to do your work. And you operate it. You're an operator of a tool. You're not a craftsman that uses this tool and controls it perfectly to build something. And you can just use it flexibly to, to just exercise your craft. You feel like an operator. And that's the opposite of a tool that encourages creative thinking or deep thinking or just gets out of your way. That's quite the opposite. You feel like an operator. And I cannot think of a worse thing when it comes to tools that should disappear and let you be creative, let you think about a problem or an algorithm or whatever you're doing to produce code. Sure, code editors are a little bit better in the sense that they're not ID. They don't have that many tools. You add extensions that you want to have. But essentially, when you add extensions, you're sort of building an integrated environment, more or less. You have integrated terminals, and just the whole idea is the same. It's just that you opt to use some features instead of being handed a ready-made environment. So I decided to try Vim again in order to embrace the minimalism in tooling, in order to feel like I'm in control of my tools more and I use minimal tools for the job, with the hope that this would encourage joy, creativity, thinking more, and make me feel less like an operator of some software that's meant to produce boilerplate if that makes sense. And because of that, I started minimally. I just installed NeoVim and export what I had out of the box. And then I added, expanded it just as much with the bare minimum features I would need to do my work. I really analyzed hard what do I need to actually do productive, efficient, and enjoyable work. I added three sitter for better trans syntax highlighting, a theme that looks good to me, does not strain my eyes, and makes me recognize tokens efficiently. I added Telescope, a plugin for navigation between files so that I can jump to another file just by knowing some of it, a fragment of its name. And most importantly, I can do uh, grep searches to grip grep to find another piece of code in another file. This way, I can jump to a function just by remembering a unique fragment of it. And that's so powerful. And I can do that with a few keystrokes without touching the mouse ever. Um, I also learned a few of the motions that allow me to navigate a file when it's open. It's called very efficiently. And people think that you need years. At least I thought that you need a lot of time to really get used to many of the motions in order to actually be productive in there. And the reality is, after learning very basic motions, you can be as or more productive than you were in your old code editor, um, and it gets even better from there. I'm still new to this, and I only know a few, and use a few macros, but I'm already so much more productive than I used to be. And it's so easy for me now to use them, and it feels so natural. Of course, code editors have in code documentation more autocomplete, and you can have that in them. So that's the other pink eye stove. I have language servers for the languages I use the most. That's Rust, TypeScript, C. And that gives me e code documentation, and gives me linting with errors as soon as I make them, which is very useful. I can jump to red to definitions, which is also useful. Pretty much all the modern features you expect in terms of smart code. Uh, it can sense out completion, etc. You have them, they work great. I use Kimox Sessionizer because the focus should be the code. It's the most important thing you're producing. No integrated terminals, no split panels, sidebars, and tabs. 
Kimbox is pretty much like Tabs. You are a nautical terminal session. So you can split your screen into multiple panels for viewing two code files. And that's the most ideal. I let the code be front and center. AI in your game is definitely a thing. I wouldn't talk about it in this video. I use a couple of plugins, Copilot and Avanti, uh, but I think that deserves a whole video on its own. And I have a lot of thoughts about using AI uh, for for just productivity and software development in general, uh, which I would like to share, but in a whole other video. And as you work with Neogam, when you start, of course, it gets in your way. It's right in front of your code because you have to learn some new things just to edit. The first couple of maybe weeks are a little bit unproductive. They can, it can get in your way and be quite the opposite of what you want it to be. But then quickly, it just goes back. And it goes further back than any cult editor, any graphical cult editor could ever go. It just disappears and it becomes muscle memory. And I didn't realize how easy it was on me until I needed to review some uh, windsurf, just review its features, check it out. The best way to describe it is if new Vim, if writing code in, in new Vim and my setup felt like just walking leisurely or running, whatever, just normal, no pressure, windsurf felt like crawling, really like crawling. It's so painful to just, another analogy would be if you use a mouse with 20 sensitivity and you just lower it too immediately. It feels so bad and just so hard to do everything. No, it's not a problem of productivity. It's a problem of shifting your focus away constantly for milliseconds from thinking from doing your job and writing algorithms to manipulate data, which is programming, to navigation and mouse navigation and just clicking panels and configurations. And there's no perfect editor that disappears completely. But NewVim is the best I've used so far in terms of letting you focus on the really important thing that you produce, the code. And I'm making this video because I'm just surprised how good of a tool NeoVim has been. It's been the pillar in my new minimal tool set to enjoy programming and just go back to the basics of it and enjoy the most fundamental, just fundamental process of building software. Please share your thoughts. I really want to know what you think about this topic. Um, not just about NeoVim and code editors, but our work in general, productivity, and how we should approach it. I'll make more practical videos about my setup, so stay tuned for those. I also made a video about AI in NeoVim, and I have planned a couple of videos about artificial intelligence in programming. As always, take care and share your thoughts in the comments.